Hello again. In this video, we'll measure the currents at a node of a simple circuit to verify that Kirchhoff's current law holds at that node. The circuit we're going to use in this project is the same circuit we used in our project about power and power conservation. Since in that project we measured both voltages and currents for the circuit, we could really use that data to verify KCL. However, in case you haven't done the previous project or seen the video, we'll go ahead and redo the data acquisition for this one. Remember that Kirchhoff's current law states simply that the algebraic sum of all the currents entering or leaving a node is zero. This is equivalent to saying that the sum of the currents entering a node is the same as the sum of the currents leaving the node. Now the decision as to which currents are positive or negative, or equivalently which currents are entering and which currents are leaving the node, is based on the assumed current directions. Here's the circuit we'll use as our example. We're going to verify KCL at node A here, so we need to define currents at this node. I rather arbitrarily chose reference current directions as shown here. The reference directions don't matter, but once they've been chosen, we need to stick with them. Now let's wire up the circuit and measure our currents, being sure to make our measurements consistent with our reference directions. Then we can add the currents up to verify KCL. Here's our basic circuit. We're using V plus to apply 5 volts to the circuit. Ground is over here. This is our 1.5 kilo ohm resistor. Here's our 2.2 kilo ohm resistor. Here is our 1 kilo ohm resistor. Now we need to add our current measurements to this circuit and measure the currents through each resistor. To measure the current through the 1.5 kilo ohm resistor, I've disconnected the source here, connected the ammeter between the source and the resistor. I'm getting about 2.3 milliamps. To measure the current through the 1 kilo ohm resistor, I break the 1 kilo ohm resistor apart from the other two resistors and place my ammeter across these terminals. Remember that I define current to be positive in this direction for this resistor, so this has to be my COM terminal and this is my ampere terminal. We get about negative 1.56 milliamps of current through the 1 kilo ohm resistor. Finally, to measure the current through the 2.2 kilo ohm resistor, we break the 2.2 kilo ohm resistor away from this node, place the ammeter between these two terminals. For this resistor, positive current is in this direction, so this is our COM terminal and this is their, our ampere terminal. We get about 0.71 milliamps of current through this resistor. Here's our measured data. We want to use this data to verify KCL. The form of KCL that I'm going to use is that the sum of the currents entering the node is equal to the sum of the currents leaving the node. On our previous schematic, I1 and I2 were assumed to be entering the node. I3 was assumed to be leaving. So if we add this and this, we should get this. 2.3 milliamps plus a negative 1.56 milliamps actually turns out to be 0.74 milliamps. So we're off by about 0.03 milliamps, which is probably insignificant considering the accuracy of our measurements. 